In today's session, we are going to see something which we do every day, hundreds of times. And there is so much more to it than just copying and pasting. So we have multiple features of copy paste, which we will cover today. Specifically, we are going to talk about uh, paste special, which is the non default copy paste. Then we will talk about 24 clipboards and how they work. How do you get those 24 clipboards? These are at office level. Then we have windows level clipboard as well. And format and animation painter probably have used it, but we'll see a little more and paste link. So let's go from the beginning, paste special. So the idea is very simple. Let's take an example and then you'll understand better. So I have an Excel file here. And I also have a PowerPoint uh, presentation here. And I want to copy paste some data from there to here. Very simple requirement. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to go to Excel, copy something. And then I generally go and just paste it. And that generally does a very bad job. Maybe we wanted it as it is visible on the screen. So never directly copy and paste. That's the first thing. Maybe I wanted these to come as bullets. Okay, let me try that. I'm going to copy from here and then paste it as, try to paste it as bullets. It did not come as bullets. It's still a table. So never copy paste by default. What you need to do is understand the concept. Yes, you copy, fine. Then when you paste, you have to choose the type of paste. Instead of allowing the default paste and then struggling, struggle means what? We will do undo and then do some work around. That's not correct. Undo means you don't know how to do it properly. So might as well do it properly from beginning. So don't paste, choose the paste. How do you do that? So copy, no problem as usual. Now, first thing we have to say, before even we paste, we have to say where to paste. Where to paste? If you don't say anything, the application will decide where you are pasting. So notice what I did earlier. There was nothing selected on PowerPoint. So when I pasted, it was up to PowerPoint to decide where to put it. That's not a good idea. So first click. When you click, you're choosing where to paste. But then we also have to choose the paste. So don't click right click now see what happened what is it showing us now it is telling me that there are so many ways use this 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 all the options of paste special have come to us before we did the paste so i'm choosing the type of paste which is keep text only and i got bullets so that is the idea so what do you do copy as usual right click at the destination and then choose your paste option. That will reduce confusion. It will give you exactly what you want and eliminate random undo. So that is the concept of paste special. Paste special while we are pasting. Now, if I do exactly the same thing in Excel, see what happens. So let's say I have this and I copy and I go to some other place in Excel and paste it. This part is going to come with so many options. But if I had a right click, those things are still available. So I can actually choose what I want to do while I'm pasting. And whether it is Excel or PowerPoint, notice what it is doing. Now this time I will take a table. So we have some formatting as well. So I have this blue color. Never take blue and white because that white is actually not a color. As far as that Excel cell is concerned, it's transparent. So always take something which has light and dark. Now those are not going to be transparent. So now I am selecting, copying. Now let's go to another place, right click. And notice this is like a visual what if analysis. Hover the mouse. It actually shows you what it is going to do. So whatever you like, you choose. Now this has gone in the center small. Don't increase the size from here because then it's going to go 
of center. So press control key and then drag. That is called grow or shrink from the center. So we got whatever we wanted. Ideally, you should have shut off the auto correct auto filter also so that those drop downs don't appear. So that's copy paste. But wait, sometimes we are copying and pasting, copying and pasting, but we have multiple things to copy and we want to consolidate them in one place. So rather than copy, paste, copy, paste, why not copy, 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 copy and paste all? That is possible. How is that possible? Because we know there is only one clipboard. What is the point in having one clipboard? We want more clipboards. So there are two ways of getting multiple clipboards. In the first situation, you get 24. In the second situation or second feature, you get unlimited. Both of them are available to you. So where are they? What I'm going to show you now is available only in office products. So I'm in PowerPoint, for example. This is where we go to home tab and say copy paste. All the buttons are here. You know that part. So far, no problem. But if you want multiple clipboards, there is something which you have not noticed. We have been here so many times, but there we have a small little arrow at the corner there. That is the important thing. So when you click on it, you actually get multiple clipboards. So I'm clearing all. And now notice what I'm doing. I'm copying this entire slide. Okay. Now that slide has gone there. Now let me go to Excel. And in this Excel, I will copy something else. So I am copying this ID start time completion time. I copied. Now where has it gone? If you go to PowerPoint now, you will notice that there is a Excel piece also sitting there. Let me go to Word and do the same thing. So if I go to Word, I'm copying this particular picture, for example, from Word. Where has it gone? It is going to go into one of those clipboards. So I have three pieces in the clipboard. Now I copied it from Word, but I'm able to see it in PowerPoint. Why? because the clipboard I have opened in PowerPoint. But that doesn't need to be that way. If I go to Word now and open that, see that all the three items are still here. And if I go to Excel, no problem. Even in Excel, the same clipboard, clipboards rather are available. And now wherever I am, let's say I'm going to a new sheet. I have a picture, I have some data and I have a PowerPoint slide. Right? Depending on what you have in the clipboard and depending on which application it is, paste all may or may not be available, but I can individually paste it anyway. So depending on the application, some things may not work. Now let me go to Word, create a new one. Notice in Word, paste all is available. So it got this PPT slide. This is from Excel and this is from Word, but that is also not all. Now let me go to something else and show you something. So I'm going to, going to a browser. It's just a browser and I'm selecting something from a browser. This has nothing to do with Office. It could be any browser, any application for that matter. Now I did copy from here. Will that go into one of our clipboards? Absolutely. So this is HTML. So Office clipboards are available within Office tools, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. But the content of the clipboard need not be limited to Office. That can come from browser, CorelDRAW, Photoshop, AutoCAD, doesn't matter. It can come from anywhere. So this is 24 clipboards. How do you switch, it? switch them off? You'll have to switch them off, all three of them. So that's about 24 clipboards. But now there is not now actually Windows 10 feature. So many, many years, there is another one called Windows Clipboard. Now, what is our shortcut? Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Now, try this after uh, my session. Windows V. What will Windows V do? If I go to Windows and V, what does it do? It gives me a clipboard here. So this is a Windows Clipboard. First time you do it, it will say, do you want to enable it? Unfortunately, for some reason, it is not enabled by default. 
So just go and press Windows V. It will ask you yes, no. Say yes. And now notice all the things, not just 24. So many things I have copied in life are there. Maybe they are obviously going to get flushed out. But if you want some of them, for example, this particular picture, I intend to paste multiple times. So click on the three dots and you can pin it. Then it will not go away till you unpin it. So there are many nice things here. This is Windows 11. So there are lots of other things also, but let's focus only on the clipboard part of it for now. So where were we? We were on Windows clipboard. That's done. Now format and animation painter, format painter, probably already know, but just to complete the topic, what am I talking about? Format painter. So if I have some formatting and I want to paint it, this is the format painter. I'm sure everyone knows that, but notice that format painter has a shortcut. Every office tool does not have a shortcut for format painter, only Word has. But in either case, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote. If you double click on the format painter, the formatting survives. So I can apply it to multiple places without going there. Same thing works with highlighter also. If I want to highlight something, generally what do we do? We select the data and then highlight. But then next one you select, highlight is gone. So same thing, double click on the highlighter, then look at the cursor, the cursor itself has become a highlighter. So it's sort of a painter for highlight now. So format painter double click works in all cases, but there is a special copy paste requirement in PowerPoint. So if you go to PowerPoint, let's do that from here. I have this object and I want to apply some animation to this object. And just to get this done, I will also have one more object. So on this object, I am applying an animation called, let's say, let's move this so it's easier to understand. So I want to move this. And where is the animation applied? It's here. This one has this animation. Now maybe I've done complex animation and I want exactly the same thing to be applied here. So you click on the object, go to the animation tab, then click on animation painter. Here also double click works by the way, and then you click here. And now what happened? The same animation or animations, one object can have multiple animations, they will get copy pasted. So that is animation painter. And finally, paste link. Paste link is more in Excel, but it's not necessarily for Excel. For example, I have a PPT. I'm copying this slide and pasting it in Word. But tomorrow, if I change that slide, I want it to change in Word as well. So what do you do again? This time, right click is not going to help you. This time, you'll have to open the drop down of paste. Notice paste has a dual thing. Upper button is default paste. Lower button is paste options. And there you go to paste special. And there you go to paste link. Now, depending on the object, again, paste link may or may not be available. For paste link to be available, the file has to be stored. That means unsaved file will not work with this. Anyway, so what are we talking about? There is a Word document here, which is already saved. And here, if you go to paste special, paste link should come. What does paste link really mean? This document is going to remember the path of that document. For example, let's take an example here. I have some data here, 391. Where is this coming from? If you see the formula, this is coming from some other document. This works on OneDrive or SharePoint or Teams as well. So now this file, what is this file? Plan of action. This file is closed right now. So I have paste linked both the files. Where is that? original file. This is the original file. This is the cell. So now if I change this cell and I'm just going to make it from 391 to 388 and now I'm closing this file, it should reflect there. By the way, how is this done? I go to the destination file, 
type equal to come back and click here that's one way of doing it or i could have gone to this file said copy then go to the destination edit paste special and this time i say paste link notice in either case the formula is same if the other file is open then it will just show you the file name now if i go and close the other file what will happen i'll close this file now if i press f2 the full path comes so if you see full path that means the file is not open now remember 388 6.46 we'll close this file save it now we will open the other file and change the data there so let's go to that file what was that file plan of action and here we will change the data so just for a demo purpose i will make it 999 and here i'll make it 4666 now we'll close this file and open the other file so that was efficiency crash course when it opens by default depending on your setting it may ask you whether you want to update and if you say yes then these two files are going to talk to each other and manage the show so that's how paste link works from excel to excel but exactly the same situation from word to excel excel to powerpoint powerpoint to word concept is exactly the same so with that i'm going to close this session on copy paste secrets there is much more go to my blog there is a series of i think 23 articles talking about copy paste so search for copy paste knowledge pack but that's it for now let's close the session